First, thank you for the invitation to speak to the committee on the UAP topic. This has been in the news for the past six years and seems to be continuing to get. Ladies and gentlemen, I just did a video about Fitz. Now, the story about Fitz is true. However, the interview that I showed from this um, intelligence officer. Sorry, let's turn that off. Is a lie. This interview takes place from what day was this last year july they took the interview and doctored it i kind of knew it was doctored but i let it play anyway without saying that i knew it was doctored because of the color scheme the color scheme wasn't right and he just something just didn't fit right about the imagery okay so that's why i wasn't sure i even hesitated however as i said the mayor I know for a certain that he, I, I'm sorry, that's my IT person and I got to get back with him. I know for a certainty that they were talking about Fitz. I know that the ABC News footage was about Fitz because I saw that firsthand, personally. But I also know, well, let me do this. I need y'all to hold on a second. I got one more to show y'all. Okay, the problem is people, Despite them taking these videos like this one and doctoring it, the Miami incident had several witnesses who spoke about the incident and who spoke about what took place that particular day, the 1st of January, 2024. It was just like something out of a freaking nightmare. One young like, lady. And it was real. I mean, like these big, tall, like shadowy things. And, and I looked over at you. No, hold on. She's about to say something, and this is going to tell you the truth about how truthful this was. Notice how truthful this statement has to be because of what she says next. Pay attention. I was like, you were gone. Was... Hold on. She is saying she looked over at the person holding the camera, and they were gone because they ran. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This is supposed to be somebody she loves, and they left her. Okay, because that's human nature. It's the fight or flight. Human nature. Hold on now. It, it was like there were so many people from that mall just running and screaming. And, I mean, it was, I don't, it, it, was it was scary. It almost kind of reminded me. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, there were eyewitnesses who told their story shortly after this incident happened. You see... When somebody's telling a story, you can tell when they're ad-libbing and when they lie because they add too much information. But if they're telling the truth, they're not adding enough information, but they're not leaving out the minor details. They're giving minor, de minor details. As she said, there were a lot of people in the mall and a lot of people were running and screaming. There was no need to speak about all of the people at the mall. Yes, there were a lot of people at the mall saying a lot of other people should have seen this. That's fine. But they were running and screaming. Now, many people run and scream in incidents like that and don't know what they're running and screaming from because it's pandemonium. It's mayhem. It's what people do in situations like that. Why? Because people panic. But she says that the person with her, she looked over to see where they were and they were gone. She didn't panic. She said it was scary, but she didn't panic. She had the wherewithal to know what was around her. Que sera, sera. I mean, que sera, que sera. One second. We're going to let you guys go because I have other things to do. I just needed to let you guys know that, yes, one of the videos was definitely a deep fake. All of them could have been deep fakes, but not Fitz and not her. Wait, hold on. That's just one. Hold on. Got one more for you. Now, before I show you the next video, look at her hand. Look at her facial expression. Look at that raised brow. Okay, that forehead, that's stress. And she's recalling the moment. Take a look. She's not faking that. Look at her mouth. Look at her expression. What she saw terrified her. Okay, it bothered her greatly. And that's her expression. You cannot fake that. You don't learn that in acting school. One second. But this one right here. Hold on now. Hold on, you you on mute, woman. Stop and talking to New Year's Day, and we, we saw what really happened. happened. So, so we, we were, were basically just walking around the mall, 
quiet, normal. Now, hold on now. You hear her? You don't fake that. She said quiet, normal. Everything was quiet. Everything was normal. There was no big deal. There was nothing going on. Hold on. And then I saw this. Like a scaly snake kind of uh, person. I thought it was a person in the suit. And they had a big hairy chest, but they were coming out of Lane Bryant. So I was like, well, oh, I don't know what else. I ain't paying no attention. So next thing you know, we just. Hold on. They were from Lane Bryant. I don't even know who that is. Hairy chest. Now, hold on. She says, I didn't pay no attention. Because she just, you know, it's just, it's just the mall. Okay. She's not making that up. This is not something she scripted. How? Because of the way she's telling the story. Hold on. She's going by our business about 30 seconds later. We hear a scream. So I saw it. I was at Bayside Marketplace on New Year's Day with my daughter and my two grandkids. We were just minding our business, walking in the mall, quiet. Everything was just kind of normal, regular. And I saw this. I don't know if it was six feet tall. I mean, an eight feet tall. It might have been like six, seven feet, six and a half, seven feet tall. Uh, person, I thought, at the time. And they were just all dark. I just kind of glanced, because you could see them, because they were kind of standing above the rest of the people. And uh, the creature was big, like kind of heavy set with muscles or fat, I don't know. But they were coming out of Lane Bryant, so I didn't think anything about it. So I just kept on mind my business, and then 30 seconds later, like 30 seconds, you can hear somebody screaming. So we're looking around, and then a bunch of people start screaming, a bunch of people start um, running, and I, I didn't know what to do. So, you know, part of me... Hold on, no, 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 tell them you ran. Uh-uh, don't you dare. I, I ain't seen this story and, and her, the whole story that she told, but you, you're going to tell them you ran. I know she's going to tell y'all that. Hold on. Run, but another part of me wanted to see what they, they were running from, from because, uh, <laughs> A, is it, is it worth me running? Because I'm not on the way. And B, what's going on? So, hold on. Wait, oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. If you ain't a person of color and if you don't understand the culture where she comes from, then you won't get what she just said. Part of me wanted to run, but the other part of me wanted to say, uh, uh what, what's going on? Not because she was being nosy, but I ain't running just to be running. It's what she's saying, and that's exactly what she just said, and I'm going to tell it to you the same way. I am not running just because a bunch of other people start running, yelling, and screaming. Okay? Mm -mm, what's going on? No, no, stop. What you doing? What What's going on? <laughs> I, I promise you, I'm going to stop somebody. I don't care how fast you're running. I will trip you. I will put my hand on your chest. You will stop. And I will find out what's going on first before I'm even going to think about running. So, hold on. Go ahead and tell them, young lady. Oh, I want you to go investigate. And so I started walking the opposite direction. I'm like, move, move. Tell people, whoa, what y'all doing? What is going on? Okay, now hold on now. Again, she's telling the story from first hand. She's not telling somebody else's story. She's not telling a story that she prepared. She's telling this story ad lib. Straight exactly how she says things happen. Why is that important? Because everybody kept saying this was a hoax. People were making this stuff up. Listen to her tell the story. If you know about storytelling, and I write stories all the time, even as a kid, the one thing about lying, if you're going to lie, I don't do that anymore, but if you're going to lie, you have to convince yourself that the lie is the truth. Even if somebody calls you on the lie, you still have to sell it as if it's the truth. You can't do it with every story, but you can do it with just about any story. She, the way she's explaining this, listen to her expressions. As a matter of fact, let's go back through what she just said. And then we're going to let you guys go because I have a meeting I have to attend yeah, right now. Crazy. I want you to go investigate. And so I started walking the opposite direction. I'm like, move, move. Telling people, move, what y'all doing? You see, move, move. Telling people, move, what y'all doing? Okay, that's her personality. You can see that's her personality. Okay, I've met quite a few people like this young woman. Okay, and I can see her saying, telling people, move, move, what y'all doing? Move, what, what, what's going on? I can see her doing that. 
Again, she's not making it up. One second. Oh, what is going on? Are y'all crazy or something? So, needless to say, but then I saw another one, and this one was kind of short and wider, and it had like a mask over it. Not a mask, but like a something over its head that looked like a shield or something over it. And people were running. And I'm trying to see, like, well, wait a minute, didn't they come through the front door? Wouldn't all this panic and pandemonium happen when they first came through the door? How did they just pop out of nowhere? What's going on? I have all these questions going in my mind. I'm a Sagittarius, so I think things. I'm like, logically, this gotta be some people in costumes. <laughs> but then I heard, like, a like a sound coming from the, t the taller one. And so I grabbed my grandbabies and we took the fuck off. We took off running. Somebody Sorry, I'm glad she didn't say that too loud because I don't say certain things on my videos, okay? I didn't know she was, I told you I hadn't listened to it, but I want you to understand realism. If she was making it up, then she wouldn't have given those type of details and she wouldn't have put so much of herself into it. So, ladies and gentlemen, what they saw wasn't what people are saying they saw, okay? What they saw was real. They did see it, but notice the way they say they saw what they saw and how it wasn't completely solid. There is a reason for that. Okay, how they just appeared. If only people knew the truth. It's been happening for decades. Been happening for centuries. It's not the first time something like this has happened. All right, just wanted to go ahead and say that, and we got to go.